Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Creator First tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making all the items we will need in order to make a bed so we can sleep through the nights. But before that I thought let's show you something which is very important to know about uh, playing Creator First and that is simply when you're dealing with heights. Um, if you press the C key to crouch see in the top right corner now it says crouch, I'm crouching well what that means to me and you is that you can't <laughs> well when you're crouching you're supposed to be able to walk to the edge like this and you can't fall off so I don't know how I just managed to do that let's try that again so let's go back up here okay so you press the C key to crouch and then you can walk to the edge and you won't fall off. I don't know how I managed to fall off there, but it's very, very useful for when you're mining at heights and especially useful uh, for doing bridges. So you see that flower over there. If I wanted to get that, um, first thing I'd do is bring myself down to that level or nearer to its level. Let's demonstrate this flower because it's much nearer. So what I can do now to get to that flower close enough, I can walk to the edge and put down a block. Like so. And you can see that I can now build a bridge. So the crouch key is invaluable for getting close enough to building bridges over to a, an, a, a, an adjacent tree because you can't walk off the edge. Well you can't normally walk off the edge I don't know how I managed to do it but there we have it so anyway I've been collecting a load of wood because all what we've got to make is needed to be made out of wood so hence why I've been doing a load of mining for wood oh, there's flowers all around me now that I want to go back and a load of honey let's just grab these flowers quickly check if there's any more so I've done a ton of mining here and uh, let's now go back to my base and start working on some of these recipes so I can unlock the bed. Okay so let's bring up the crafting window and we want to get to the bed so if I go to build you'll see there's the bed. In order to get the bed I need to make a wooden chair. In order to unlock the wooden chair I need to create craft a wooden floor and a wooden table okay so where's the wooden floor in order to create the wooden floor I need to create a wooden wall so here's the wooden wall let's craft that okay so I've now unlocked the stone wall and the wooden floor so now I can unlock the wooden floor and create a wooden floor that's now unlocked the roof wooden roof and also it's unlocked a table so wooden table for that I need to get some wooden slabs so we'll go to the processor and first in fact let's throw some stuff in the chest which I won't be needing because my pocket is getting full. Do you see I was gathering a few leaves? So let's just get rid of some of this stuff that I won't need at the moment. Your pockets will soon start to fill up and I want to make the next chest up as well which will be the stone chest and that will give me a lot more room to make more items okay so now we need to make some wooden slabs so back to the processor select the wood you can see we've got a ton of it and let's create a load and some rods as well because you always need them okay that should be enough slabs Let's go back to the recipes. Let's now craft the uh, wooden table. That's now unlocked all of this as you can see. 
So let's now do the wooden chair. Okay, we need some more wooden slabs and wooden rods. Of course I could make another processor to speed this up, so why don't I? Let's do that. So go back to here all. Uh, items that you're going to be making a lot of, like for the potions, I'll be needing lots, I've put them to my favourites. Remember just click on that and it'll add them to your favourites at the top. So items that you're making a lot of, it's a good idea, like the torches as well, to put them at the top in your favourites. Okay, so I was going to make another processor. Which is that one. Okay, let's craft that. Let's go into my pocket now and let's put that down. And put it there. Okay, so what's this left to do? If you left click you cancel them so I'm going to stack queue them up in the next one so select the wood and let's chop up a load of them and for that one I'll get that to do a load more slabs sure I'm going to need them oh let's grab what we got and let's see, oh that's got some, there we go, right now we can go back to the crafting and we can go back to our quest to get this bed so what did I need to make next so the wooden chair ok that's now unlocked us the bed, so now we'll unlock the bed and we'll craft the bed Okay, now that we have a bed, we can sleep through the nights. Let's just unlock the wooden trap door. Unlock the roof. And the wood planter. And what's this? Thatched wall. tile wood floor so you can see lots of recipes are starting to unlock ah stone chest oh and we can make one of them so let's craft ourselves a stone chest unlock the stack stone wall is there anything else that we can unlock Right, let's put down the bed. Where is the bed? I cannot see the bed. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to put the bed down. Uh, I'll put that in the centre here. And then when night time comes, I will just right click on the bed and we can sleep through the night. Okay, let's shut the door would be a good idea. Let's grab that. And that. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. Let's right click and speed it through see there we go it's sleeping see the time up in the top right there and it sleeps us through to five in the morning when there's no hostile creatures now that is useful not only for when you're above ground exploring but also for when you're below ground and um, because some creatures during the day underground won't attack you but they will at night time, so that's why it's a good idea to sleep. Okay, so until the timer goes, let's do some more mining. In fact, let's gather the resources from our harvester. We 
extractor, I should say. Now, there's more obsidian here, so what I want to do now is go and craft some more obsidian, forge some more obsidian. And I've got enough leaves now. So let's do all of these. Let's take what's done. And let's go craft ourselves another advanced extractor. Um, always a good idea to put the advanced extractor on your favourites as well, although it is just here. But I'll add it to the favourites because we'll be making loads. Okay, let's go into my pocket. Let's put down this chair. I'm not sure the chair actually has a use. Let's have a look and see if it does have a use. So I'll put the chair just there. Oh, you can interact with it. So you can sit down. I guess it's more for role playing if you're with your friends. But for me, no time to sit not when I'm recording. Okay, so let's go see if we can get to gather some more good resources. I'm going to put my stone mining cell because I don't want to waste my obsidian one. Oh, I'm going to need to put that chest down so I can free up some pocket space. So there's the stone chest. Let's put that down. Notice the difference between the wooden chest, 24 slots. The stone chest will give us 28 slots, so slightly more. Okay, let's throw a load of this in there. Oh, we can put the table down as well. I'm trying to decide what I won't need, but you sort of need nearly everything. I won't need nearly as much stone. Is this all stone? Yeah. Okay, that's freed up a load of space. Notice I made a few more potions. Okay, let's go see if we can find some more ores. Okay, let's mine up this obsidian as well. Ah, I need to make torches next. So what I am going to have to mine next is coal. So was there any on this level? No, I don't think there was. Oh yes there was. Now the coal is very quick as you can see at mining. Coal, I need to make more torches, so I definitely start to need to gather loads of coal. Okay, so let's make a load of torches. That should do us for a bit. Oh, one more. There we go, right, let's come out of there. Yep, the torches are there. Grab the rest of that coal. Hopefully that obsidian is now smelted, yeah. Let's now make a load more advanced extractors. You can see now why you're gonna need so much obsidian. So that's the first thing I will go and put the first one on, so I know I'm going to be getting more obsidian. Never run out, otherwise you have to go back to the basic one. Oh, and there's another one behind it, that's cool, so let's mine this out. So that's two more. I think that's one above it as well. Okay, let's do some coal. One more extractor left. Let's start mining down a bit deeper. Oh, 
Where's the timer? Never have enough time. I'll turn myself around. Magnetite, we definitely need that. Oh, it's a nice load of it. Okay, I think that's it all. What I like to do is fill in the holes. So you notice at the top we're on the fossil level. Next to I believe it's the stalagmite level we're going to get to. Right, let's keep going. Okay, well I better end the episode here actually as I will get carried away. Uh, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.